Hello everyone, I hope all is well. Welcome back to the Take Care Man channel. If this is your first time with us, my name is Todd and my goal on this channel is to equip men to take better care of themselves. In this video, we're gonna be doing a shave with the Chella Aloe Vera version and the Barbado Aftershave Lotion and also the Barbado Razor and the Takeshi Shaves Tech Hive Brush and the Butterscotch handle coloration. And we'll also be using, new to the den, a Lancaster shave towel. Not going to use a pre-shave. I'm gonna wet the brush. It's kinda of hard to load with a larger synthetic brush like this out of the uh, Chella container. Now, I've used the original Chella, but I'm not a real big fan of that marzipan sweet cherry almond scent. I don't dislike it, it's just not one of my favorites. And this aloe vera is just a real clean, there's a slight green note in there. It's just a real pleasant, neutral scent, soapy scent. Now, even though it's a cream, it's a pretty firm, Chella's pretty firm, it's, uh, I'm pushing pretty hard here and you can see I made a bit of an indent with my finger there but it's not soft like a lot, what you would expect would be a cream like say from Taylor of Old Bond Street or some of the other uh, commercial creams. But we'll see how well I can load this brush. Got a lot of proto lather working here. So I'll get some around from the edge, put it on the face. Now, as you can see, I've got about a week's worth of growth. In fact, it is a little bit over a week. I've just been really busy focusing on getting to the gym and doing my personal training sessions. Okay, we're gonna here and start a face lather. Now I've actually used this Tech Hive brush before, not on a video. It's new to me, I've just gotten it within the last three weeks. And I love this brush, I'm in love with this, this brush. And the primary reason is, is I love this handle. You can get a really good grip on the back of it and these little ridges uh, in the middle of the handle keep your fingers from riding up on the brush. And they also seem to keep the lather from you know, creeping as much down towards the bottom when you get a big brush full of lather, big knot full of lather. May have overloaded this brush. I know for some of you, that's not a thing. <laughs> it's not a, not a possibility. You should just load as much as you can. Get a little more water here on the tips. Now, if you've ever noticed, if you've gone for more than three or four days without shaving, then your lather is gonna look a little grainy on your face, but it's not a grainy lather. It's just those whiskers poking through on the underside. I kind of tempted to push this just a little bit more with a little bit more water. Lather's nearly in my ear, or it actually kind of is in my ear right there. <laughs> so when I ordered the Barbado uh, aftershave lotion, which I've been wanting to get because it was on a lot of people's 54321 challenge videos. Uh, if you're not aware, I'm actually the person who started that uh, video challenge, and I just can't believe how many people have done it. But as I, I've been compiling those results from their 54321 challenge videos, and I'll be doing a video on that compilation pretty soon. But Barbado kept popping up as some people's favorites. So I ordered some of the aftershave lotion. And to my surprise, the owner of Barbado threw in uh, this razor, and there was a handwritten note in there. Uh, that you know try enjoy trying one of our razors now this owner I don't I think he's doing it with every order I mean don't quote me on that I'm not for sure uh, there's no indication that this 
person knew that I had a YouTube channel or anything like that. And as you know, I have very few subscribers, so it's not like uh, he thought I would have a big circle of influence or anything. But anyway, included the, the razor. Uh, there was also a package of Barbado blades in there, but I decided to go with something I know, which is the Persona Red Blade, just to be able to evaluate the razor. The razor is really light in the handle. The handle feels, I dare to say cheap. It just doesn't feel very well made, although it does feel solid. I don't know if that makes any sense. It almost feels plastic, but you can tell it's not. It's some kind of metal. So it's a little bit more on, you know, head heavy. But usually razor weight doesn't bother me that much if, unless the overall razor is just uh, too light and it kind of skips uh, on my face. So we'll see how this Barbado razor does. So we've got the Cella lathered. Scent is pretty medium off of this Cella. And again, it's just a real clean, soapy scent. So let's get in here. this first pass. So far so good with this razor. If you're new to the channel, when I shave, I tend to make faces. At times it'll look like I'm in pain. I'm not. It's kind of my uh, intuitive way of stretching the face. Uh, it's just something I've developed. Not consciously, but subconsciously. I am in desperate need of a haircut, as you can probably see. I have a video on the channel where I gave myself a haircut. So we're in the middle of all the stay-at-home orders during the COVID-19 pandemic of 2020. So I've only had one haircut and I gave that to myself. Uh, I'm using a number four guard uh, buzz cut. Uh, but now it's time to go back to work. And it's time for me to get a professional to cut the hair. I went in to book an appointment with the lady who cuts my hair. And the earliest appointment I can get, or I could get, was a week from today. So I scheduled one a week from today. I have a few online meetings before then, but my first face-to-face -face meeting is the day after the day I'm scheduled to get a haircut. So um, I think I'll be fine. I um, almost need to put the glasses on to look at this. I was kind of noticing on that first pass. Yeah, there's a little overhang on the blade. In fact, on one end, it's a little bit more than the others. I almost felt the corner of the blade on that a little bit on the ear. Might be that I've just not shaved in a week, but um, I don't see any, you know, overly strange exposure on that blade on the ends or anything in terms of like uh, the actual cutting edge of the blade. But it does protrude out quite a bit there. I almost felt the angle of it I felt like against my, oh yeah, look, I actually did cut myself with the side of the blade there. Now that could be totally operator error, but I kind of feel like that get in there in the corner, that blade is exposed so much on this particular razor that it, that corner got me. I don't think it was the overhang. I think it was actually the corner uh, of the blade. But you can see there where it, where it got me on the ear. But that'll close up pretty easily, I feel. Got a couple other nicks that definitely are operator error there on that first pass. All right, so let's, uh, oh great, I've gotten, by doing demonstrations now, I have lather on the glasses. I have to clean that off after the fact. All right, so let's clean up a little bit after this first pass. I'll try to be a little bit more careful in the second pass and see 
if I notice anything. Well, I can feel some sting already. Now, it's my understanding uh, from the Barbado aftershave that it's got quite a burn. Not an intentional burn, say like a cat of nine tails or a cold burn like some of the uh, highly mentholated aftershaves. But you can smell the high alcohol content on this aftershave when you smell it out of the bottle. In fact, that's the only scent you really get is just this overwhelming rubbing alcohol scent. I'm sure there's some other things there I'm not smelling. We'll look at the ingredients when we get ready to use it. But it's supposed to be really good at calming irritation and closing up uh, the skin. And I think that we're going to give it a good challenge in this shave. All right, let's go in here. Uh, second pass across the grain. Let me draw off the handle a little bit here. This handle is also a little bit long for my taste. I have come really close a couple times to pulling the trigger on purchasing a Feather Artist Club Commissori razor. But with a renewed focus on my health and trying to make it to the gym. I just felt like at this moment, I don't have time to devote to really trying to have long shaves, particularly with school starting back. If you've never watched the channel before, I'm a, I'm a university professor. And I've taught summer school this summer. But anyway, it's a really busy time right now. My wife is a third grade teacher. So she's heading back to school. Yeah, you see that, that nick there on that side. And uh, August and September is always a challenging month in our household anyway because we're school starting back for both my wife and I. Okay, two passes down. Go back in here for this third pass, get a little more water on this. I didn't feel that blade protruding on the corner that time on the pass. See how it does on this third pass against the green. Let me know in the comments below. Um, you know, I learned traditional wet shaving while I still had a goatee. And uh, shaving in the goatee area is still relatively new to me. Um, do you guys, when you guys do passes, say if you do three passes, do you do all three passes under the nose area too? Or like underneath the lip and that general area around the mouth? Or do you do less passes around that area, if that makes any sense? Okay, uh, against the grain. Many of you have made comments on my first week's fitness vlog video and I really appreciate the encouragement and all the wisdom and personal stories you've shared both in the comments on Facebook and in direct messages to me and emails to me. I really appreciate that. That encouragement is honestly part of the reason that I'm doing it. Um, yes, I want to be an encouragement to other people but I also like getting the support through the interaction with the channel.
see if we have many pickups to do. I'm not going to re-lather, I'm going to kind of go back over. We're going to call that close enough, particularly for the first shave in about a week. I'm going to rinse this off. Okay, back in here with us after the rinse off. Definitely got a few little nicked places. And if what I'm hearing about this is true, this Barbado aftershave is going to burn a little bit. So, yeah, I can feel quite a bit of irritation. Feel a little bit of red there and there. There's the bottle, Moisturizing Razor Bump Therapy Aftershave Lotion. You get a lot in here, get 6.4 ounces. Uh, directions, apply liberally to freshly shaved skin. As it dries, irritation is relieved and moisturizers is relieved and moisturizers keep the skin from drying. So number one ingredient, isopropyl alcohol. Uh, we got sunflower oil, argan oil, avocado oil, sweet orange oil, so you should smell a little bit of uh, orange scent in here. Aloe, jojoba, if you can see those through the, not that you're going to sit here and read it, but you might can see them through the back of the bottle. So it says for ingrown hair, razor bumps and razor burns, soothe and moisturize skin, fortify with aloe, jojoba and vitamin E, botanically derived moisturizers and essential oils. All right, so again, this smells mostly of rubbing alcohol when you open it. I don't detect the orange if, if it's there, it's very slight. So this, this, this guy smells the first ingredient and it smells like that it's gonna burn when I put it on. So we're just gonna see. But it's supposed to be really good post shave. It's, it's supposed to have a really good face feel and uh, leave your skin sort of healed and conditioned after using it. That was a weak amount. We can't go in there with that little bitty measly amount, particularly if it's going to burn. We need to experience the full thing. Here we go. Mm -hmm. It's burning. Oh, cat of nine tails. We'll have to take a second place, take a back seat to this stuff. Woo! Man! That burns more than that Avon tie winds I use. Speaking of Avon, my good friend, uh, well, I mean, I don't know him that well, but the guy's been so generous to me and I'm getting to know him. Dave in Kentucky from theshavingcadre.com sent me these uh, different Avon bottles back here. Uh, you can see them back there. You can see I'm working on my video back, uh, background a little bit. Uh, most of those scents I've never used. Uh, I've run some LED lights behind them back there for effect. but. Um, I'm going to be using those in upcoming shaves. Can't wait to try those out. But yeah, that Ty Winds one I used in the uh, Scared Unfamiliar shave certainly burned. But this one, the burn gives way. And after that first layer gets on, you can start to feel the oils in there. Yeah, you definitely can feel the oils coming through. It's now a little bit oily. We'll see how it kind of dries down here over a little bit as we wrap up, as we wrap up the shave. Maybe I have my irritation. Let's get a little bit down in this area. Even though I didn't push the BBS. Oh yeah, I can feel a little burn down there. We didn't get to. Let's make sure we hit that ear on the ear. And let's see if this... Uh, I didn't use any alum. Let's see if this um, closes up those nicks. It seems to do so. But you definitely don't need a balm after this because the skin's pretty oily. Now I put a generous amount on there and put a second layer uh, as well. Definitely could have done some more cleanup there, but I didn't want to push it, particularly with a razor I'm not familiar with. And you see, I do have a little irritation down there. In fact, even though I probably overused it on the rest of the face, I'm going to put a little bit more down in that area. 
Now, as the as the oils start to come through, and that alcohol like burns off or dries off, you do get the orange oil. It, it reminds me of that slight scent of like the glue we used to use to put together like model airplanes and model cars as a kid. Yeah, you smell the orange oil coming through. Yeah, good shave overall. I can't I can't tell you how much I love. Uh, this is Takichi Shaves. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. The Tech Hive brush. You can get it in an ivory handle uh, or in this butterscotch uh, type handle. I didn't. I really like the way the ivory handle looks a little bit better, but I didn't have a, a butterscotch colored handle. I kind of wanted one in my collection. And it, <laughs> the, the uh, you know, hive and the, you know, idea of honeycomb uh, made me think a little bit of Pooh Bear. And this is, this is kind of the color of Winnie the Pooh. So, uh, my daughter's a big fan of the Winnie the Pooh. I, well, I am too. Who's not a big fan of Winnie the Pooh? Hello there. General Kenobi. Great brush. I really love how you can hold the very tip of this and feel like you have control. And that's, uh, pretty sure that's a tuxedo knot. This knot, by the way, is very, very soft, but still plenty of backbone to it. I really, 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 really like it. So yeah, good shave overall. Um, I would like to use that Barbado razor a second time, maybe with another blade just to sort of mix it up a little bit. But yeah, first shave in a week. Feels great to get it. The Cella Aloe Vera performed great, as you would expect, just like the other Cella in the original scent. Um, but I like this scent a little bit better because I'm just not a big fan of that marzipan, cherry, almond scent. Again, don't dislike it. It's just not one of my favorites. And I like just the clean scent that you get off of this uh, Aloe Vera from Cella. That's going to do it for this shave. Thanks for watching, and until next time, take care, man. Oh, my glasses are like falling out. And also, the Barba... Gosh, I really got stuff all over the glasses. Oh, well. Okay.